Welcome to another episode of Two Beards in a Pod, where our low-quality brand of comedy is met by your subpar standard to laugh. And all of this is actually just one big practice run for Nick's inevitable debut into stand-up. Well, if you couldn't guess by that intro, I guess that means I'm Nick. And I'm Dan. And this is another episode of the end of 2019. Welcome to Two Beards in a Pod. Yoo-hoo! We've had to shoot the same part three times already because my phone decided to run out of storage space. Seventeen times in a row. Listen, stop making fun of me, okay, pal? You make fun of me all the time. Hey, Dan. Hey, Nick. Christmas was a few days ago. Yes, it was. Why don't you tell me? I sure. How the hell was your Christmas? It was fucking great, buddy. Um, we had a little bit of Christmas action at my own house, and then we go to my mom's parents' house for the remainder of the day. My mom's immediate family got us together. We do the whole dinner and gifts thing. It was nice. Okay. We had a lot of people here. Um, our house is a little bit on the uh, smaller side, so, you know, a lot of people, you know, thank God the windows were open wide, so, uh, you know, we could really store everyone in all those little nooks and crannies of the house. Nooks and crannies. Yes, all of them. Nooks and crannies of the house. All of them everywhere. <laughs> you know, aside from, you know, watching some of the Trump impeachment trial thing and hey. the house's inability to file everything and all that, yeah, Christmas was nice, I must say. It's pretty huge. Pretty huge. Just like how his win in 2020 is going to be huge. Let's not go there. So, things that we liked about 2019. It was a long year. I feel like it was one of the longer I, I ones that I remember. I felt like 2019 was two years. A lot of stuff happened this year. You know what's crazy? You remember the whole Tide Pod fiasco thing? That was in January. That was really January? That was in January. Wow. It only happened this year. Things are crazy when you realize, like, you know, what happened during a year. It's like, you know, <clears throat> oh, that was only this year? Exactly. Anything musically happened that we remember? Um, well, I I like metal a lot, and I always make a top five albums of the year list on my own. Um, Ramstein's new album was one of them. Uh, they're self-titled. After a ten-year hiatus, they came back and kicked ass again. Um, As Away Dying's new album, Shaped by Fire came out awesome album they after a little bit of a hiatus themselves they came back and kicked ass again um picked up white they never left um a band called shadow of intent a newer death metal band they uh they they dropped the banger like it's heavy and it's awesome and uh hopefully i can end up getting around to see them live at some point in the future um i made a, made a list um Where's the list, Dan? Where is the list? Um, but you know, uh, how about you, buddy? I just it was a, to me, 2019 was just a long year. Uh, you know, actually, I could really honestly say that this is a net more negative than positive year. Um, still on that job hunt, still can't find the job that I've been out there searching so desperately for. Right. Um, so the, the ever elusive and present job hunt that I think is just going to keep going on forever and ever and ever. Hopefully, we. It's either going to be we find something in our field or Spark Creative is going to have to take off at some point. <laughs> or you could smash that like button, subscribe to us now. We or can really get this going. Or we're going to throw punch you. That's not going to be fun for any of us. It's a lot of throw punching. It works for Philip DeFranco. It'll work for us. I mean, but how are we going to throw punch all five people that watch our show? We'll find them. We'll meet them. Hey, buddy. Reagan <laughs> smash. Reagan smash. What you tell everyone about your new watch, Dan? Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, my lovely parents got me the Hulk model of the Citizen Citizen brand Marvel collection that just came out. It's a nice leather band watch with a cool Hulk fist breaking through the face of it. I think it's nice. It's a cool watch. It's simple. It's nice. It's huge. Pretty huge. Pretty huge. So, we actually tried to shoot our holiday special last week. Um, it ended up being a lot of beer pong and there was a taser involved. Yes. Um, that was not captured on film, although I really wish it was, because it was something else. Uh, needless to say, I, I didn't want to plague anyone watching four hours of beer pong. 
we could have did the beer pong championships had to sit at the table, you know. Although the beer pong probably would have been more entertaining than our show, really. So. Eh, you never know. I mean, you know, our one game went on for like 45 minutes. That's because we both suck at beer pong. You're right. I do suck at beer pong. It's like a 45-minute game that just was not fun. So needless to say, I will be putting some of the outtakes from that on the end of this episode. Everybody will get a nice little compilation of different stuff for the next week's show. Yes. Next week, we're really just going to kind of bring into our plans of what's coming up in 2020. Exactly. Um, we really actually wanted to take this episode to promote the fact that we actually finally got Ben to do his show this week. Hey! Um, show is going to be called Brutally Honest. Um, show is hilarious. He's going to be... It's basically like story time with Ben. Um, except Ben's experiences are never normal. Um, they often go off the hinges and there's nobody that can tell a story like how Ben can tell a story. I agree. Dan and I just bear witness to two of his stories. <laughs> we both had to uh, keep ourselves from laughing hysterically at multiple times. Uh, Dan, after this one, we're going to have to make that bumper sticker that we discussed in the previous yeah. episode. <laughs> that shit needs to happen. <laughs> we need to make it. Our first, piece of, our first piece of merch. Yes. I don't know if we could actually legally sell that, but, you know, hey. Yeah, just don't tell anybody. Just don't tell me. Just start, you know, cracking it out. So what do you hope for us in 2020? Because this is going to start a whole other new decade. We're back into essentially what would be the roaring 20s of our lifetime. Now. I hope that 2020 is the year of Spark Creative as a whole, both as a business and as the umbrella, the umbrella company of the multiple YouTube series that we both have ideas for and want to get going. Um, I hope that we get started on our on my idea for a series that we're going to call Eat This, which is going to be me doing eating challenges, much like... And it's pretty much just a ploy of getting attention from a guy named the LA Beast on YouTube, who also does eating challenges, who has gotten pretty famous doing so. We, uh, we really hope that, you know, we could bring some fresh new nuances into this new year. I want to really broaden out what we do and, you know, really branch into some more stuff. And I hope that Spark Creative, uh, Spark Creative as a company starts getting some clients and that we can start either getting ourselves paid by, getting ourselves actually paid or have some actual income to base ourselves off of, and that we both find jobs in our respective fields outside of Spark Creative. Hey, listen, even if the show could just take off, I'd have fun doing the show. The plan is which whichever one takes off first, Spark Creative or Beer TV, that one's going to be what we base ourselves off of. Yes. Um, whichever starts making money first. <laughs> start looking out for that. We're actually going to be Beer TV now. Two Beards in a Pod will be our show, but the channel is going to be changed to Beer TV. We initially started the thing as a podcast we wanted to do, but now we've started, like, we have ideas for, like, five different shows. So Beer TV will be the channel, and Two Beards in a Pod will be just one of the shows. Some people will be bearded, some people will not be bearded. I mean... And some of them will have fake beards. Yes. Hopefully fake beards. You know. We gotta get Nick back on the show. Nick we hasn't do. done so He's just been a busy dude, man. He he's he's all he, over the he's place. been busy with work and he's been busy doing stuff for the for the the band he's in and for his own solo act. He's he was telling me earlier today that he's been nonstop making t shirts, stickers, and patches for oh my. He's take he's taking t shirts and you know, stencil and spray painting ink on the t shirts. Well, so you know what? I mean, though it's going to end up being a short episode, we have a lot of editing and a lot of stuff to start planning for ourselves. Um, I think this is actually a decent place to leave off this week, you know, with plans for more stuff to come. It's gonna be huge. Huge. So this is Spark this is Sparked Creative's company, Two Beards in a Pod, which is gonna become Beard TV. TV. Um smash the like button, follow us on YouTube. I would really appreciate every like we could get. So would I. Uh Dan's gonna do a Patreon calendar where he's gonna be nude for twelve months of the year. Nobody wants that. I don't want that. Um it's gonna be near nude shots of his beard. Um, <laughs> it's, just, it's gonna be my it's gonna be my beard on different days. <laughs> this was Monday. <laughs> this is bed beard. This is messy beard. This is beard after work. This is the beard right out of the shower. This is me every day. <laughs> like it. <laughs> anyway, enough with the bad jokes. <clears throat> Let's just close out the show, Dan. My name is Nick. My name is Dan. And this is Two Beards in a Pod. And remember, going into 2020, please don't impeach us. Have a good day. And remember, Dan is still single. Uh. <laughs>